Hello, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You're welcome to the Treasured Transformation Seed Podcast with Coach Titio. Our prophecy this year is rise to a new life and you will rise to a new life. And we're still exploring these principles to guide and lead us to the fulfillment of that prophecy. And today we'll be talking about heart gates in preparation for creating an atmosphere of expectations. I saw something this morning. William Booth said, God loves with a great love the man who sat is bursting with passion for the impossible. Hmm. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, that will be our test for today. It's about the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature because I've refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Hmm. First Samuel 16 in verse 7. So preparation of our hearts in creating an atmosphere of expectations, in readiness for what God has ordained to do. Why do we need the heart cleansed? Why do you have to prepare your heart as you expect that big turnaround, that breakthrough? Your heart is your seat of imagination and perception, conception of ideas and reception. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, it says, but as it is written, I has not seen, nor hear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. So to know, to receive and to work on it, your heart needs to be prepared and made ready. You know, so why do we need our hearts cleansed? The presence of iniquity will hinder prayers from being answered, according to Psalm 66 in verse 18. Because the Bible says the heart is deceitful, perverse, and corrupt, according to Jeremiah 17 in verse 9 to 10. And that means it could contaminate our imagination and perception. God sees the heart beyond the face and the hearts. Someone said God sees the heart as we see physics. You know, God desires a sincere heart, a willing and obedient heart. Why? The instructions may not be logical or reasonable sometimes. Like the instruction for Naaman to go and bathe in the, in the, uh, in the river Jordan, despite his nobility. 2 Kings chapter 5. Our desires or our motive to be right. Why do you do what you do is more important than the act of things, of doing things. Or why you want something. Why do you want to marry? Why do you want something from God? Why are you desperate for having that child? It's more important to God than the act. It's not like God cannot do it. So we need our hearts to be right with God. God desire an honest, clean, and broken, repentant heart. God loves a broken heart, not a divided heart. Not a divided heart. God blesses those with a pure heart, according to Matthew 5, 8. So our heart needs to be um, prepared. That is why the psalmist prayed, Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart, so that I may honor you. Now that you know the importance of a pure heart, the question now is, how can I prepare my heart to make God's standard as I wait on Him? Number one, you need to expose your heart to healing from past wounds. If not taken care of, it will corrupt and interfere with your perception and reception. That's why the psalmist prayed a prayer that, Lord, search my heart. Is there any anxiety? Is there any worry? Is there any fear? Is there any discouragement? Is there any... Uh, wound from the past and heal me number two let god do the surgery through his process cleansing by the blood of jesus apply the blood of jesus to your heart all the time let there be a cleansing like if you want to come to the bible to study as god cleanse my heart i have uh, covered my heart with the blood of jesus let there be a cleansing hebrews 9 14 then hide your heart the word of god Proverbs 31 to 3. Humble yourself. Humble yourself before God. 
then care management. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Make sure you guard the affections of your heart. Pay attention to details. What comes into your heart? You have the control over it. You can hear anything. People can say anything. They can say discouraging words. They can do things around you. But guard your heart so that it will not, um, it will not be affected by what you hear or your emotions, your feelings. Okay. Keep your heart with all diligence and vigilance. Proverbs 4.23 advises, make sure you have an undivided heart. Stay on the course. Know where you're going. Stay on the course. Also, surround yourself with positive people. Positive thinking and speaking is contagious, just as negative thinking. Surround yourself only with those who create an atmosphere of victory with their attitude and words. Don't allow anything or anyone to take the place of God in your life. Don't have an idol. The Bible says, and uh, I believe in Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 3, it says, I will answer them according to the idol of their heart. So make sure you don't have any idol in your heart so that you can hear God. I, what do I mean? Like now you already have an idea of this person is who I want to marry, for instance. Why am I talking about marriage? You want to have this tall, dark answer. And then you already have a picture of someone. You can't see whoever, whatever God is allowing you to see. You will only see what you have in your mind. You already have it. This is your, you've created that dream. So let it be God's dream and not your dream. Replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Pull down every stronghold of thoughts that are contrary to the plans and purpose of God for you. Meditate positively. Continuously. Meditate positively. Continuously. James chapter 3 and Philippians 4, 8 to 9. Make Christ the center of your heart. Make Christ the center of your heart. At the center of it all is you that I see. Is you that I see. Use faith as a shield protector from fairy darts. There will be fairy darts. The Bible says the wicked one, they have thrown their arrows and they are ready to fire send missiles missiles of discouragement missiles of disappointment missiles of failure missiles of fear into your heart so make sure you have your faith and faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god so continue to pray continue to study hallelujah so this morning we want to pray that father create in me a new heart to love and renew a right spirit within me Create in me a new heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Forgive my artful guilt, O God. I cover my heart with the blood of Jesus. Let there be a cleansing this morning. Let there be a cleansing. Purge my heart, O God, of every deceit, perversion, corruption, and severe and mortal sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. As we go, don't forget to subscribe and share to our YouTube channel. You can just go to uh, dto20.com with one click and you get to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And also remember our recommended books, A Flame Reigniting the Passion and Pursuit of Purpose, a 40-day devotional, and Fast Track Your Fresh Start with Prayer, a 21-day prayer. Hallelujah. God bless you. See you tomorrow.